guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part two of my budget bariatric meal prep week. So in the last video you saw, I went shopping for everything I'm gonna make and today I'm gonna start meal prepping. Um, so tomorrow is when I'm gonna start eating all this stuff, but today I'm gonna do some of the prep in advance. First thing are the overnight oats. So I have everything set up over there. So let's take you to the cutting board and we'll get started. Okay. We are ready to go. So the first thing we're going to do is just mix up all of the ingredients and then we're going to portion it into my little uh, ball jars so that it can sit overnight um, in the fridge. So the first thing we're going to do is, oh, let me talk about the recipe. So I did find a recipe for blueberry banana chia overnight oats. I am taking, I'm starting with that recipe and I'm adding different things in and kind of like swapping out some ingredients because when I could not afford fresh, fresh blueberries, nor do I like fresh blueberries anyway. Um, and two, it needed to have more protein. The oats and the chia was not enough. So I'm also adding some yogurt to that. So the first thing we're gonna do, and we can prep these in the recipe and I'll link the recipe down below and I'll also put my edits to it. Um, she says we can, um, prep this like three to four nights ahead. So I'm going to try to make four servings, um, and then midway through the week, I'll make another half batch of this. So I'm going to take my banana. Now the banana probably won't last, um, till I make this again. So I'll probably just give the rest to the dogs or eat it later um, today before I start this. So I'm just gonna mash this first. I'm gonna get all my wet stuff in the bottom of the bowl to start. I tried to make overnight oats once a long time ago and I didn't love them, but I don't know if like I even did it right back then because that was like, five or six years ago, so we'll see. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna add to this is a half a cup of skim milk. Half a cup goes in. I'm also gonna add just a splash of vanilla extract for some extra flavor. And then, so I did buy the two good yogurts and I had a couple more in my fridge that go bad before those. So I swapped out two of the flavors. Um, so I'm gonna do one blueberry and one strawberry. So we'll have a strawberry, blueberry, banana breakfast, I guess. <laughs> um, but I didn't wanna waste these. And the other ones that I actually bought today, I will just eat uh, after I'm done with this challenge. All right, so one strawberry, and this is where I'm gonna get the majority of my protein, um, which is why I added two of them. And this is definitely gonna make more than I need, I think. But we'll see, maybe the oats will soak it all up. All right, so I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a mix. Okay, now we add the oats. Now because I am adding two extra things of yogurt, I'm gonna do um, a half a cup and then an extra quarter cup in here. And these are old fashioned oats. These are not quick cook, um, cause those would get too mushy. And they're also not steel cut cause those would not get soft enough by tomorrow. So there's my other quarter. And I'm going to open my chia seeds. Try not to spill them. 
All right, so in her recipe, it called for one teaspoon, but because of all my extraness and the fact that I could use a lot of fiber and a little extra protein, we're gonna do one tablespoon plus uh, one and a half tablespoons, like so. And the rest of the chia seeds I'm going to use throughout the week. Um, I'll like make a lemonade, a uh, crystal light lemonade, and then I'll pour in like a half a tablespoon in my water and then drink it that way just to get some more fiber and stuff in. All right, so let's mix this. And then obviously it's gonna look a little loose right now, but all the oats and the chia will soak all of this extra liquid up. Actually, I'm gonna add just a splash more milk. Cause I know those chia seeds get pretty big. <laughs> And now I'm gonna divide, I'm gonna put it in these four ounce jars so we'll see how many I get. All right, we ended up getting five, which is perfect. It still should be okay. She said three to four days, so hopefully the last one will be okay on the last day. And then I'll have plenty of stuff to make just a tiny batch for the weekend. Uh, so we're gonna close these up. And that is part of our breakfast, all done. Welcome back to day two now of meal prep. And today's the first actual day I'm eating. So I need to get all the stuff prepped today in order to have stuff for the remainder of the day. So it's about nine o'clock now. So, and all I've had was a cup of coffee and some water today. So I really need to prep breakfast first so I can start eating that. So the first thing we're gonna do is grab all this stuff. Super simple, not really a recipe, but I'm going to air fry all of this turkey bacon so I have it ready to go. And then I'm also going to start um, just uh, cooking up my ground beef with some taco seasoning for my taco salads because that's really the only thing I need to prep for this. Um, everything else I can open and assemble when it's time to eat the salad. So um, I'm gonna do those things, get those started off camera and then we're gonna start on like the recipe portions with our chicken and our pork. So let me get this going and then I'll meet you back at the cutting board for the actual recipe part. <laughs> All right, ground beef is cooking. I turned my oven preheated to 350. And I also threw in to defrost my bag of chopped spinach. So I'm gonna let that cool for a couple minutes because we're gonna use that for our filling. Um, next thing I'm gonna do is take our bag of frozen broccoli. I'm not gonna steam these, we're gonna roast them. So I'm just gonna dump that. So about there, onto my sheets. And these are silk pats. They um, are super uh, easy for cleanup. Like nothing sticks to them. You can bake on everything under the sun. Okay, I'm gonna spray this with some avocado oil, just enough so that my seasonings can stick. Salt. A little bit of onion powder. And a good dose of garlic powder. Just so it's covered. And then I'm going to toss it around. And this is gonna go in the oven for probably 
20 to 25 minutes. I like to get them so they're nice and crispy. So this is gonna go in the oven. All right, next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna make um, my filling for the pork stuffed um, roll up things we're gonna do. I'm going to use a half a block of cream cheese. I did have this sitting out for a little bit. Okay, so we're going to take half of this. We're going to save the other half for our little dip later. Maybe I can get it. All right, and I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave for about 10 seconds. Cream cheese is good. Next to this, I'm going to add just a tablespoon of sour cream. Just to make it a little more, a little thinner. Then I'm gonna take uh, my chopped spinach, and it's still a little hot. Right. You have to squeeze the water out anyway, so I just add a little cold water <laughs> so I don't burn my hands off. Okay, so I'm just gonna take Probably half of this bag. Well, maybe the whole bag. All right, let's mix this up to see what we're looking like consistency wise. couldn't tell I'm a messy cook. I leave a tornado and then I clean it up later. <laughs> all right, so that's pretty good. So it's still all covered in the cream cheese, but it's not like a completely green. I only got one big handful out of here left, so in the sake of just using it. The rest is water. I tried to find the little brick of spinach, but they didn't have it at Walmart, so. Okay, this is still pretty good. All right, let me partially clean up. So to this, I'm just gonna season now. So a pinch of salt. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of black pepper. A little taste. A little bit more of everything. Okay, that's pretty good. We're gonna set this off to the side. And next we'll figure out We'll do the chicken first and get that ready to go. I am gonna cheat a little bit and use a tomato from my garden. Um, so this can be the last 40 cents uh, that I had left in my budget. So what we're gonna do is, this 
out. I'm gonna work off this so I don't dirty my cutting board with salmonella, and I'm just gonna put it right on the tray when I'm done. So the first thing we're gonna do before I touch this is just season it with some salt. And I'm also gonna open my cheese. And let's dump out, oh wait, this is about three quarters of a cup of mozzarella. And then, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me cut this tomato first. We're just gonna do nice thin slices. I don't know how many cutlets we have, but that should be enough there. All right, I was going to add basil to the cheese, but I guess I don't have any, so we're foregoing that. All right, so. Let's see how big these are. All right, I thought there was more chicken in here than this, so that should be interesting. <laughs> but here's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna take a handful of cheese and a slice of tomato. And we're just gonna roll them up like so. Now this is a lot, like this is pretty hefty. And since I'm also gonna eat broccoli on the side, I might only be able to eat like half of this cause like that's, that's pretty big. So we might be okay. I might be pre-panicking for no reason. <laughs> but I'm gonna roll the rest of these and then put them on the tray. Then I will sanitize and we'll get to the pork. Put a good spoonful of this just roll it up and I'll probably see if I have I think I have toothpicks just to like pinch the ends close a little bit so it doesn't all ooze out uh, that'll go on the tray so I'm gonna fill the rest of these up and then we will keep going we're almost there So that's all we have left, not too bad. The last one was kind of a little guy. Uh, but let's clean up again, story of my life, and then we'll continue on with the cooking process. Okay, we're moved over to the stove now. 
my taco meat is done, all my turkey bacon is done cooking. We are going to toothpick these. Not that it's gonna save it a lot of oozing, but just, just in case, if we can pinch it a little bit. I think just on these, I think the chicken will be fine. Hopefully these don't burn. I don't think it should, but I'll keep an eye on it. Okay. Uh, last thing I'm gonna do Just spray a little oil on top. And these just gonna salt. On the chicken, I'm just gonna give it a touch of olive oil. And then when I go to eat these, I will dress it with a little bit of balsamic. All right, so I'm gonna put these in the oven now. They're pretty thin piece, like cuts. So I'm gonna start with 25 minutes, then I will check on them. So in they go. All right, the last thing um, that we have to actually make is my buffalo chicken dip. It's just gonna be a very small portion. And normally I would like cook it in the crock pot so it could sit all day but I'm gonna to have to reheat it up later anyway. So I'm just kind of gonna mix everything and then it'll, it doesn't really need to cook, but it'll warm up when I go to reheat this. So I have half of a block of the cream cheese, my one can of chicken and I'm just gonna drain. That I'm gonna add and then we'll smush this up all together first. So for this whole can of chicken, is 16 grams of protein, which is pretty good. So. And even if I just have like two little ounces as a snack, with some cucumbers, it should be plenty. Okay, so to this, I'm gonna do a quarter of a cup of mozzarella. Now normally I wouldn't put mozzarella in this, but I could only afford one cheese. I would do like cheddar. I could only afford one cheese. So mozzarella worked with all of my other um, recipes. So that's what's going in this. And then just to thin it out, I just have this Walden Farms Ranch. Doesn't taste the best, but mixed with all the other flavors, it'll be just fine. So that's probably one, two tablespoons of that. You don't have to add it. If you don't have it, it's not gonna be a big deal. And then one, two tablespoons of buffalo sauce. my bowl is too small uh, that looks pretty good this will definitely last me all week. All right, let's just give it a quick taste for seasoning. Yep, that's perfect. All right, so that is my buffalo chicken dip done for the week. Let's 
see what else I can pack away right now. I have all of my turkey bacon done. So I'm just gonna put that in a baggie and then I'll take out three pieces for breakfast or if I need you know, another snack because this should be more than enough for the week. So turkey bacon for breakfast is done. have my taco meat for salads, which we can assemble later today. But for now, it gets packed away. So that is done. And then the last things I have to pack up, uh, the chicken and the pork are obviously still in the oven and so is the broccoli. So when those are done, I will show you. I'm gonna show you my face, you're not staring at the cutting board. So when all of the, everything in the oven's done, I'll show you what that looks like. And then that's basically it for the meal prep. Um, so the next video you're gonna see is me trying to eat all of this for all seven days. So I'm hoping it's gonna be enough to keep me fed. And I still have like those um, yogurts in there um, that I'll have later today. But that's basically it for now. So I will get back to you when everything in the oven is done. All right, my food is out. My broccoli is done. That was probably, that was in there the whole time because um, I wanted it to get like nice and brown and crunchy. So that is perfect for me. And then look at our marvelous chicken pork thing. So these didn't really ooze out too bad. Um, the mozzarella did a little bit on the chicken, but I have checked temp. So these are perfect at 167 and these are over the 145 that they need to be. So I'm going to lift these out of the juices so they don't get gross. Um, throw in containers and then that is going to be my meal prep. I know they don't look like super appetizing on the tray, but I am going to add stuff to them before I eat. So those will be in my Next, that'll be in my next video um, to show what I'm eating each day. So once that's up, go ahead and watch that. But that's basically all the meal prep for today. So I will put the recipes, I'll have to write them up, um, down in the description below with the macros as close as I can get it because I'm not a measurer girl. So I kind of just go with the flow, but I'll throw anything that I made up myself down in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop it down there. I'll try to answer you. Um, if you want real-time updates with what I'm eating, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at gina.bsg. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.